all have faith in Jesus. And out of the book of Galatians, we learned that our faith in Christ makes us all children of God. That's what the book of Galatians says. But the faith of Jesus makes us sons of God. What is the difference? A child says, Papa, Mama, and he can't do anything. He just, you know, Papa, Mama. A son is a matured one, and he gets commands, and he starts doing stuff. So the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, not for the children of God. Sons of God in the New Testament mean matured and perfect. So the whole world, the, the book of Hebrews says in chapter 6, let us go on to perfection. So we should not stay children because Galatians 4 says, if we stay children, we differ nothing from slaves. But if we become sons, we have the spirit of the son in us crying, Abba, Father, then are we heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. In other words, everything that Jesus is and has becomes ours. That's why he said, the works that I do shall you do also, and greater works than these shall you do. I mean, we see miracles like I don't know how many people see it this way we see it. You know, crutches, wheelchairs, cancers, HIV, and there's no boasting about it. It just happens. People getting, you know, supernatural breakthroughs in businesses, selling houses, you know, getting breakthroughs in deals coming through, in law cases coming to their favor. God is just doing the most awesome. Why? Because we're stepping from childhood to manhood, from faith in Christ to the faith of Christ. And it's so great if you read in the, in, in the epistles, every time where it says the faith of Christ, it just breaks you through in a fresh revelation.